everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hello welcome my name's Sorrel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my new favourite drugstore foundation so I've been using this foundation for about two months now and it's the best drugstore foundation that I've ever used my favourite did used to be the Maybelline 24 hour superstay foundation but the foundation I'm about to show you has taken the number one spot it's what I've got on now, um, so the base I've got on is a foundation and obviously a concealer. Um, but yeah, if you want to see what foundation it is and how I apply it, then carry on watching. So I'm going to prime my skin and what else would I be using apart from the Ordinary Silicone Primer? I use this in every video I know, but I'm literally obsessed with it. Like I just feel like it really, really smooths up my skin, fills in my pores and it's only £5, so I'm not going to like use... A different like high-end more expensive primer when this one does exactly what I want it to do. So the foundation I've been absolutely loving is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So I actually got Jed to get these from America when he went there but if you didn't know Beauty Bay now stocks Wet n Wild which is like a massive massive relief for me because this now being my favourite drugstore foundation I was like where am I going to get some more when I've run out of these and nowhere in the UK sells them. And then Beauty Bay, all of a sudden, starts selling my miles. So yeah, I was super, super pleased about that. But for some reason, they only stock about six shades. They're not all really light ones. So I don't really know what's going on there. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, hopefully they'll bring out more shades because it's honestly like my favourite foundation. So the shades I have here are cream beige and soft beige because I didn't know which shade I'd be. This one suits me absolutely perfectly like when I'm properly fake tan. Um, it's kind of faded a bit now. But I still think this one will be a bit too light. So I think I might have to mix the two. So I've just mixed the two on the back of my hand and I'm just going to dot this all over my face. The only thing about this foundation is it smells a little bit like paint, which personally, I, see, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much, but I know some people that will really, really bother them. Um, but like the smell goes like once you've applied it like you put uh, powder on so yeah it doesn't really bother me so to blend this in i'm going to use my real techniques diamond sponge this is actually really dirty i should have washed it before the video sorry about that um but i've really been liking this for my foundation recently because it's got such a big surface so i just find it really efficient like i can just blend my foundation in quickly get out of my hair oh for god's sake um and yeah that's what I'm going to need. Okay, so I've just gone on to Beauty Bay to read what it says about the product. Um, they were sold out when I looked online um, in every shade earlier, but they seem to have a couple of them back in stock now, um, but they'll probably sell out again, uh, or they're just not actually in stock. So I'm just going to read the description. It says, a high-performing matte foundation, your skin only better. The new high-performing skin perfecting foundation under a major road testing under seven different foot photo lighting condition to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time and then it says specifically made with matte light diffusing complex to give your skin hashtag no filter perfection um and yeah i really really like this foundation it's full coverage it covers up everything but it doesn't look too cakey which is what i really really like i've used like a lot a lot of drugstore foundations and for me this one just really does top it i feel like it is the most full coverage and i feel like the shades suit me better than any of the other drugstore foundations I've tried like that with other drugstore foundations they've either got like pink undertones which like when I'm fake tan like just doesn't work um but yeah I really 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 like this foundation also another thing that I really really like about this foundation is it has like this little like I don't drip it everywhere but it has like this little paddle can you see that I'm gonna put it where I don't know where to put it I'm gonna put it there um which is just so easy for application like um it's probably quite unhygienic so i'd only use it like on yourself like, i wouldn't be going putting this on every like everybody that paddle honestly makes life so much easier than having to like squirt it out or pour it out whatever and then put it on your face you can literally just you know when you're in a rush as well just whack it on your face and blend it and you're good to go um so yeah that's another thing i really 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 like about this foundation also another massive plus about this foundation is it's vegan and cruelty free so for all you vegans out there this is the foundation for you this is the foundation for you as this is my favorite like combination for concealer i'm going to use my tart my car can't talk my tart shape tape another gift well i paid myself but another thing jed also got me from america i have this in the shade light medium and i didn't realize like how big these were like these are actually massive like when i got it out i was like okay like i knew they were big but i didn't know they were this big so i'm just putting this under my eyes a bit on my forehead, down at the bridge of my nose, 
little bit on my cupid's bow and then on my chin just to highlight. I'm going to blend this in using the same sponge because I'm too lazy to go and wet another one because I do prefer using another one just because it's got like, it is, for concealer it's not the best because it does have like the spikes and yeah, I just prefer like a rounded one for concealer but I can't be off to go wet another one because I'm just too lazy. I'm going to set my eyes in place with my RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, I use a different sponge for this, as you can tell, like this little, um, oh god, like this little um, triangular one, because I don't like using the same sponge that I've used on my foundation, because like it has foundation on it, and I feel like it just looks really like cakey. If I've, like, where I've had foundation, I'd then go and put like powder on, and then put it on my face, and bake. I just feel like it looks really um, cakey, cakey, so... I just prefer using another sponge. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Mercier translucent powder because I can't actually find any of my other ones. And um, my Kiko ones are too dark for me right now. Um, and uh, yeah, plus this gives me loads of coverage, which I love, so. I'm just gonna set my whole face with this. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna rub off um, the powder under my eyes. Literally always forget what I'm about to say. Honestly, you just can't get over like that. This foundation is literally six pounds, and like it's so full coverage, and my skin just looks so smooth and nice. Like my skin looks so good. Six pounds. My skin looks this good. I'm sorry, what? I've just finished my lips and my eyes off camera, but I'm gonna finish my skin. Um, so to bronze up and add a bit more definition back into my face, I'm using the NYX matte bronzer in deep tan, and I'm just gonna bronze up my face up with this. I'm just going to highlight to finish this look off and seeing as I used a wet and wild foundation I thought I'd use a wet and wild highlight as well so this is in the colour Precious Petals and guys this is also on Beauty Bay but this is £3.75. £3.75 and I actually really really like this it just makes me look really wet. I also have um block the other one what's it called Blossom Blossom something. I think they're the two shades they sell on Beauty Bay. So yeah, if you haven't, get your hands on the foundation and get your hands on this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to swirl this in and just apply it right on my cheeks. See, I'm just amazed that makeup can be that cheap but that good. Like a foundation for £6 that is this good. Like it's literally amazing. And a lot of people think like, Oh, a six pound foundation like it's gonna break me out but I've been using this for around two months and my skin's been honestly like fine like I've had no breakers at all I've had like an odd spot here or there maybe, maybe like even like one one spot like big one like here or there um which I get normally anyway like I haven't been like oh my god like my skin's gone like been so bad since I've been using this foundation so yeah honestly the only like downside I'd say is the smell of like it does smell a bit like paint but you know you can you can get over that for a six pound foundation um honestly the finish is amazing it's full coverage which i always look for in a foundation um full coverage just the way for me um and yeah it does it's not too it doesn't feel heavy at all on my skin like it just it feels like it actually feels like i'm not wearing anything on my skin like, obviously i know my own foundation but it doesn't with some full coverage foundations I can just really feel it on my skin and I hate the feeling of having like a really like cakey not necessarily it doesn't necessarily look cakey but like a thick foundation on my face and this honestly it just feels so lightweight which I absolutely love so yeah I just wanted to show you this foundation it's six pounds and you get 30 ml of product as I'm aware Beauty Bay are the only place that stock it in the UK hopefully they'll get the full like range of shades but everything will be linked below in the description bar leave a comment like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and i'll see you in my next video bye